Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are going to be doing a huge, and I mean huge, Shan, 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 however you pronounce it. We're going to be doing one of those, and we're going to be doing a haul, and it is ginormous. So if you guys don't know, I recently just started working in an office, so I've been looking for office-appropriate clothes, and... Shein is a great place to go if you are looking to not spend a whole lot of money. Literally nothing in this haul costs me more than $12, or no, more than $20. But most of the stuff averaged to be about $9 to $12. Like, you cannot beat the prices. And I know that Shein hauls are very popular on YouTube, and there are so many mixed opinions. I'm going to tell you, I've shopped from Shein before, and I have found some really great quality clothes that I just love and I'm so obsessed with for like 12 bucks a piece. I mean, I bought them last year. I still have them to this day. I've worn them. I've washed them. They're still holding up beautifully. So I definitely think that this is a website, though, depending, like, just, just kind of, like, overviewing what I'm seeing with the quality of this haul. It's definitely one of those hit or miss places. When it comes to sizing, it is definitely without a doubt hit or miss. And also when it comes to the quality of the clothes, it's definitely again hit or miss. So we're gonna go ahead and try all this stuff on. Again, nothing was more than $20. So you're, we're looking at very, very inexpensive pieces. This is not going to be the highest quality and we're not gonna be expecting this to be like super, like oh my gosh, this is toward quality. I'm going to review these clothes based on the fact that I spent $12 on these pants or like $9 on these pants and kind of go from there. So I will show you the pants first. I'm thinking I should probably show you a shirt too so I can kind of get through this haul a little quicker. Um, these pants that I have on I will say are size 4X and I'm going to go ahead and try it on with this shirt which is a 3X. Okay, so we'll start with the pants. Again, for a $12 pant, the quality is not exceptional, but it's not like horrible either. They are definitely more of that like silky kind of polyester material, so it's not always the most flattering. It does have pockets. It also has a belt. It does not have any pockets in the back. And I actually love the length of these on me. They're not super skinny. They're almost kind of more of a boot cut. Um, and they're just okay. They're not anything to like scream from the rooftops. These are amazing, but for 12 bucks, I mean, they're not bad. Um, especially if you don't mind. You guys hear that? When you walk, you're definitely, especially if you're the, the especially if your thighs rub together, you're definitely going to hear it. Moving on to this top, this top has no stretch to it whatsoever. It is super cute though. I love the color. It's like this really pretty peach color. It has these beautiful flutter sleeves. It also has like the black lining it right here. And then you also have like the little keyhole in the back. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly cute. However, if you, like if I, this obviously does not fit me. Now, obviously if I were to tuck this in a skirt or tuck this into some pants, it fits because it fits great up top. It's just when you tuck it, when you leave it tucked out, it just kind of, you know, it's not flattering at all. Next, I'm just going to trade out these pants for this skirt, which is a 3XL. I also want to say that Cheyenne, most of their sizing goes up to 3X. Some things, however, do go up to a 4X, but a 4X is the highest size that they have. This skirt is really cute. I, again, for like 10, 12 bucks, the quality is not not that bad. Um, I really love the print. It's like a houndstooth, houndstooth print. And it goes down to mid-calf on me. Obviously, you could like pull it up more if you wanted to. Especially if you were wearing something, um, you know, if you were like blouse this out and then wearing a belt, you could totally wear it this high and bring it up to like right below the knee. So, yeah, I mean, it's very stretchy, it's really cute, and I really like this a lot. I will tell you guys, the majority of this haul is going to be shirts. Um, I did get a couple of pairs of black pants because I really wanted to try out their pants, 
and see how they are. These are a size 4XL. They just have this little zipper going up right there. No pockets front or back. They do look a little see-through and again, I mean, quality is not the best, but it's not bad. However, I do not think these are going to fit, but we will see. Okay, I want to try one with this shirt too. I figured this shirt is not going to fit. Um, it is a true wrap shirt, literally like it's all open. You wrap it. It obviously does not fit me. This is a 3X. Um, I will say the material is a heavy, heavier material. It's kind of like a scuba material. Um, it's cute. It's peplum, but obviously it does not. Look at that. Look at that on the side. Like, no, it, it does not fit me at all. However, these pants actually are bad. I mean, I like the length, so I'm kind of, you know, impressed with that. I do wish, however, with this length that I didn't have extra material hanging from the back. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? I wish with this kind of, this kind of um, length that they would have been more skinny and more kind of flush with my skin. Um, they don't have any pockets in the front or in the back. Again, they are thin. They're cheap. They're inexpensive pants. I will say now that I'm looking at the pants up close, I am noticing bunching on the knee and they're just, I don't know, they have like a little bit of ribbing down the bottom. Um, definitely not my favorite. Definitely going back. Okay, so these pants right here are my favorite of the bunch. They are very high rise. They have these little buttons right here that are actually like snap buttons. So my only concern about these pants is that they're not the best snap button quality. So if you're sitting down or one day if you're bloated and you're wearing them, I'm wondering if they're just going to like pop open because there's literally no zipper. They're literally just the snap open button. And then this shirt, again, is not stretchy at all. Like no stretch to it at all. It is super cute though. Um, I'm seeing it on myself and it's not my favorite by far, but I am a huge fan of this whole like mesh see-through. Like I just think it's so sexy. This is so me. Um, it has like the little cuffed up sleeves which are actually like stitched so they stay cuffed, which is nice. Um, you know, if I pull it down, you do definitely start to see my bra. And then it's also mesh in the back. Which, can you see my bra? No. So, again, would be super cute. Um, definitely would work if you tuck the shirt into some pants or a skirt or whatever. So, see? I think that's what's throwing it off right there for me. I don't know. It's just different. Next, I'm going to try on a little suit that I got, and then the rest is all going to be shirts we're going to be focusing on. So I'm going to throw on some jeans. But this little blazer set um, is a size 4XL, and you just have the pull-up pants, no pockets anywhere, and then you have this blazer. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you guys size 4x oh and I just bent down and look what happens like oh three and then just four of them popped open yeah these pants are no-go here are these suit pants they are definitely more like they're kind of a thicker material but not the best quality again they're that kind of like more polyester so they definitely make noise as you walk. I will say I really love this blazer. I do wish it was a little bit shorter because I would have much preferred for it to be a length, like maybe right here. Um, but I do think that this blazer would be great worn with a dress or a skirt I, and then opened, left open. Um, but I do love how it closes. And I feel like if the maybe the pants were better quality, maybe if this was a little shorter, I probably would like it more. It's also, it's definitely like a stretchy material, so it's not like the best quality blazer by any means. But again, I think this was like 20 bucks for the full set. 
you can't go wrong. If you are on a budget and you have an office job and you need to look professional, or even if you are on a budget and you want some trendy pieces, Shein is a really great place to go. It's not a place where you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have these clothes for years. But I really do, I, lo I love the website. I just wish that their sizing was a little more consistent. But this is a nice professional look. I could definitely, like I would definitely recommend to, to wear this to an interview because you look very professional. Um, I don't think they're going to be judging you on the quality or looking and being like, how much was that jacket? How much was that? You know what I'm saying? So I, I also wish that it had pockets, but again, we're talking about like $10 a piece here. So you get what you pay for. But I mean, other than that, it's nice, you know? Another thing I will say about Shein is their shipping is phenomenal it comes super quick and another thing that i really do love is that shayan does offer returns and it's free shipping back it is extremely a very seamless very easy exchange process where once they get it they kind of process it and the money is back in your account within a few days so i'm a i'm a huge fan of shayan from now on, everything is just shirts we're focusing on, so I'm going to throw on some jeans and we'll get on with this haul. This little vest right here is a 4XL, and I'm telling you guys, this shirt, by the way, I got from Torrid, so it is not, it is not Shein. But I wanted to show you guys this because this is exactly why I wanted this little sleeveless vest. I'm like, what's it called? vest for this is extremely 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 cheap this is something that i would not even wear i had contemplated it because i was really going to wear it um this past week to work it does come with a belt it's just it's incredibly cheap i don't know if you guys can see like the fabric i don't even know what you would call this fabric it's like a like a suede material, but obviously it's not suede. It's just, it's really weird. This is the belt. I obviously would just wear it with the, um, without the belt and it opened, but if it was better quality, I would be all for this because I have so many camis that I can't wear to work, but I absolutely love. And something like this is perfect to wear over them. Isn't this cami so cute though? I will link it down below. It's the swing camis from Torrid and I highly recommend them. They're so figure flattering. Um, but yeah, if you guys also know where I can get a good quality but fairly inexpensive sleeveless um, vest like this, let me know. This one, I'm going to spoil it and tell you I actually wore it to work. This is what I wore yesterday, which was Friday. It's a 3XL, and I got so many compliments on it. So this is something I definitely recommend. It's def it's like that waffle print. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, you guys see it? And it's stretchy, and it's really cute, and I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you. So here we go. Like I said, stretchy, super cute. You've got the gold buttons going down. I feel like it adds almost kind of like a blazer um, nautical look to it. It's super cute. They did give you extra buttons just in case one of them pops off and you lose them. Like I said, it is stretchy. Nice stretch in the arms. Nice stretch here. Yes, it is a little more form-fitting. Um, I actually like the way that it fits a lot. And then you have the little poopy sleeves and the high neckline. Like I said, I got so many compliments on this when I wore this to work yesterday. Next one, I love this print. It is a size. Also comes with a little belt. Let's just look on the bag, shall we? It's a 4XL. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. So this is what it looks like. It has the big flowy, fill, what's the word? Fill, billowy, billowy sleeves, which I have really been loving lately. Um, this is what it looks like without the belt. And then let's kind of like blouse it out a little bit and put on the belt. So we can kind of, Kind of blouse it out a little bit. Hold on, let me see what that looks like. So that's what it looks like on the side. It has the, um, it kind of goes up on the side so it's longer in the front and in the back. 
and this is not my favorite fit on me I wish that it was not so big up top because if it wasn't I would totally be keeping this and loving this because I just love the black and white I love the sleeves I love how you can have the belt or choose to not have it again with the sizing what did I say this was a 4x this is not stretchy material but it fits great like here you know it just is way too big up top but other than that it would have been super 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 cute and again you could totally like tuck this into something and ditch the belt I love the fact that you can kind of do both of those things with it but it's just it's too big up top and I don't like the way it looks on me you guys ready for this one this one is so when I saw it on the website I was like please please have my size and then when I was when I when I saw it had like the 3x it was the biggest size they had I was like please fit please fit please fit please fit how cute is this I am not a huge animal print lover but this with the red again I'm not a big red lover either but this just speaks to me you guys this is so 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 cute and it's just it's so me again size 3x so let's try it on and fingers crossed fingers crossed that this fits I don't know all right let's talk about the blouse first of all it's like it's high neck but it's all like ruffly high neck and it's so cute the sleeves again are like ruffly and they're tons of tons of space it kind of cuts down a little lower than I would have liked it to it has this open lace right here which is so pretty it's red with the animal print I just it fits it fits it's not like super stretchy it does have some stretch to it but I'm not sure it also kind of um, buttons up in the back and it did come with an extra button as well I just don't know about how it looks on me. What are you guys thinking? What are we thinking? I don't know. I mean, it's so, it's so cute. It has so many elements that I love with the black lace and the flowy sleeves and the little ruffles right here. I'm just not sure it's me. I don't know. I think this is definitely one of those shirts that's more of a tuck-in shirt than anything. What are we thinking? Oh, I really wanted to like this. This one is like, oh, it is very tight on me. What size was this? This is a 3X. Very tight in the chest, very tight in the stomach. This does have, let's not break these shell because this is definitely going back. It does have, um, what are those called? Belt loops on the side. I'm only going to use one. So you have this cute little belt. This top is just so incredibly cute. I love this whole like, I, I love that. Um, especially if you're petite and you want to add more volume to your shoulders. These kind of shirts are perfect for that. This does go down a little too low for me. It's, you know, kind of like more of a wrap style. Of course, you can just kind of take a button. But it's just entirely too taut, too tight. It is a peplum. It does have a zipper on the side. This is actually really good quality. I'm not mad at the quality at all. It's just it does not fit by any means. And this is definitely more of a summery top. So this is perfect for summer. And it is really cute. But it just, oh, it's too tight right here. And it's too tight in the chest. Okay, this one I can already tell you I wore to work. Obviously, I did not wear it like this. I did wear a black cami underneath it. It is a soft t-shirt material. Nice stretch to it. This was a 3X, I believe. Yes, a 3X. So again, see with the sizing, it's so weird. Nice stretch in the arms. Um, as you can see, it's mesh. Like I said, totally wore a black cami underneath it for work. It has the, the higher neckline and just kind of plain in the back. But very soft, very comfy, very stretchy. I really, really love this top, and it's really cute. Everything is really cute. I know. I still smell my perfume. Ooh, girl, I smelled good that day. Whew. This one I was so excited for. Um, 
there was so much black in this haul that I was excited to kind of like have a little bit of color. I really love the concept of this shirt. However, this is a size 4X. It is too long, number one. But if you wanted to wear this tucked in, this would, that's what this would be great for. But having it untucked, it's too long and it does not have any stretch to it. I love the little print on it. It's actually very retro. This is very 70s. It has the little flowy sleeves over here. It has a button right here and then you can either button them or not and it has this little tie that is attached to the collar. Isn't that so cute? I wish that this was a stretchier fabric or that it fit me better because this is really, really cute and it's different, it's unique. I love that, look at that. But it is just so not flattering on me. So if I could find a shirt like this that was like, I don't know, a different color, maybe white with a black tie, that would be so cute and then stretchy. Yeah, but this one's a big no-go. You have the little belt so you can kind of belt it on the side and you also have the little keyhole right here and you have these beautiful lacy sleeves. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? No. <laughs> Sounds like a fire truck. Um, again, you could kind of totally blouse this out. You could totally wear it without the belt. This one I'm not sure about. I feel like, again, it's that like silkier polyester type material. It's not stretchy. This one was a 3X. I mean, I feel like it fits okay. I'm just not sure about it. Hold on. It has a little keyhole in the back too, by the way. Definitely like it much better without the belt. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm actually going to keep this one. This one's really cute. The only thing I can, I'm concerned about is if I lift my arms, the shirt just keeps, this goes right up. So definitely have to lose some weight to wear this, obviously, but I mean, as far as like looks, I think it looks great right now, but as far as like functionality, like you're not just standing like this all day long, you know what I'm saying? So for that, I'd say it's a big no. This one's kind of a fail, isn't it? I'm getting a little ticked off now. This is the last one. This is a size 3X and no, like no. It's actually stretchy and it's so cute. You see the little sleeves and they kind of balloon out a little bit and this is so cute. This is so my style, but it just is entirely too short and just does not fit. So again, functionality, no. Pictures, absolutely. Okay, so my final thoughts on this particular Shein haul is that if you are a 22, 24, Shein is not a true plus size spot for you to shop at. You are best suited, better suited for places like Torrid and I don't, I don't even know about Forever 21. I haven't tried Forever 21 being a 22, 24. The sizing is just very inconsistent. Honestly, out of all of these pieces, I'm only keeping two items. And those two items are the things that I told you I've already worn to work. Everything else I just feel was a fail in either the way that it just wasn't stretchy enough, it was too big up top, it just was too short or not stretchy enough. I do think all of these shirts would look incredible tucked in, but to be honest, I'm not a huge lover of tucking in my shirts. I just never have been. When I get a little thinner, will I? Eh, I don't know. Even when I was thin, I was not a huge fan of tucking in my shirts. So I do think that if you are 22, 24 and you get these and you are a big lover of tucking in your shirts, then these would totally work for you. Um, know that the quality of the pants are not the best, but they did all fit, um, except for it with the exception of the ones with the snaps. <laughs> they fit, but you know, you know the issue there. 
Um, but other than that, if you are like a 2X down or if you're even like a, yeah, if you're like a 2X down, like a 20 and down, I think Shein is a great place for you to go. I do, however, feel like it's still always going to be hit or miss. Just anticipate that you're probably going to end up having to send things back because of the sizing issues. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was very thorough without being too rambly, and I really truly gave you an in-depth look in on Shein, their quality, their sizing, and all that kind of stuff. So I love you guys. If you are new here, I would love if you would subscribe. Many more fashion videos to come. Don't forget to click that like button and share this video. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like that. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Yeah, don't forget to like me.